Hey, 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 YouTube. What's going on? This is Housewife for Life. My name is Tanya Gibson Smith and I go by dot TGS. Um, you are viewing now my web page with um WordPress. And um the purpose of this video is to show you how to connect your Amazon affiliate link page or affiliate links to your um, website. So without further ado, we'll get started here. You are viewing my web page. This is Housewife for Life. This is my brand name, Prophetic Touch LLC. And um, let's move on. Okay. So what you do, the first thing you want to do is hover over Housewife for Life for me here, but it would be your site name over in the left corner. You would hover over that and then drop down and click on dashboard okay once your dashboard opens um if mine ever okay there we go <laughs> you will hover over your dashboard you drop down to appearance okay you'll go from appearance to customize click on customize well I could have clicked on widgets but I like to kind of go through the whole process right so we're here now in the customization area of your WordPress.org um, or .com website. Um, what you'll do next then, pay attention to the left corner of the screen. You will go to uh, widgets. Click on widgets. And it's going to open up for us here in a minute. <laughs> uh, once we get our widgets open, now you can kind of get a snippet here, and I'll take this and um, kind of move it. Well, I thought I could kind of move it around a little bit, but anyway, you see where I have a Amazon, it's a wish list, is what I have here on the right side of the screen. My Amazon wish list contains of a digital camcorder that you can't see right now <laughs> and uh let's see here i think yeah there we go okay so now um my amazon wish list contains a digital camera a digital camcorder um i've got the oh, what do you call that the tripod in the bag and um i've got an sd card here I've got a camera bag and the photography bag lighting setup. Um, it's not always necessary, you know, for YouTube videos, but I think it would be professional to bring this type of equipment to you guys, um, you know, because you deserve that. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, this is my Amazon wish list, and I have my affiliate links here from Amazon, and I'm going to show you now how to grab those links and put them on your site. Okay, so let's get back over here to our widget area. Now, mine I have. In the sidebar let me click back let me go back again sometime you know YouTube is going to go fast and I don't want to take you too fast but um, you got your post sidebar your advertisement widget here sidebar and then the foot block at the bottom now I like to put my advertisements closer towards the bottom of the page I really don't like doing too many advertisements at the top of the page um, I will show you what I have here quickly. Um, this is my home page, and um, I do have an affiliate link here. We'll go over that another time. I've got my products here. I am an associate with Motor Club of America, and um, shout out to my sponsor, who is Amber Boyd. Made this video awesome, video filled with content. Um, here you can subscribe to my blog and then I've got um, recent posts shortly after that. Now I did my Amazon wish list closer to the bottom. If you as you can see here, 
that the page ends reason why because once my footer kicks in then i'll have um latest blog post i'll have um more affiliate links here and on a cell phone it just looks so much better with all of it kind of running straight on down um to each other in fact i could probably show you here how it looks on the cell phone see this is the top of the page and then as we scroll scroll see how the setup is so what i'm offering and what i'm bringing to the table is here and then um, I've got my subscription blog to subs I'm sorry subscribing to the blog here um, recent post and then all of my Amazon links are kind of lined up and then you got a little break right and then you're running straight into my footer so that's why I personally decided to put it um, you know lay it out the way I did you can choose any area over here to address your links um but we're gonna go ahead and um let's keep rolling on here so what i do is i take a custom html widget and i added it in my sidebar so here is all of my links lined up one after the other just as i just showed you except this is the html form so instead of me actually um well yeah i'll go ahead and show you here we go i was gonna go ahead and add it at the bottom of that one but i'll just walk you straight through it so you click on add a widget right and scroll down to custom html once you do that, you click on custom HTML and it opens at the very bottom. You can arrange it and put it wherever you want because here's a reorder button right at the bottom of the page down here. Let's see. Bring it down just a tad bit so you can see the reorder. Right? So you can, you know, take this and move it and adjust it however you want to. Um mine it end up going all the way <laughs> uh, so um let's see here which way okay let's take it back down to the very bottom here maybe the rest of them will pop up yeah well don't look like it did well moving right along um next thing you do since you have your custom html open um i want to see where it went here right up under subscribe to the blog so it's gonna pop up right through here somewhere under sign up because um you see this custom html is for the email and once you see subscribe to which is your title brand right here that's how you know which way it's gonna pop up at so let's um let's uh go over to amazon since we have this already open okay we're gonna go over to amazon and assuming you already have your amazon account and you already have your amazon id this is my id okay and um my email address so uh, just make sure that you are in your own information and y'all my numbers are really really low so don't pay this stuff no attention because i just got everything hooked up like yesterday so <laughs> um okay so right over um right over product linking is where you want to hover your mouse you want to drop it down i like product links you can do banners you can do ads um, you could do mobile popovers, link to any page, but personally, I like to do the um, product links. That's one of my favorite. That's what I have on my page now. Um, that's what I've done in the past. So now here we are where you search, okay? I, I keep mine on all of Amazon because with Amazon, you just never know where a product is. I mean, 
you know you might say um electronics is where it is but it could be in home decor too so you just never know i like to leave mine on all of amazon and then um let's search for uh camera since that's what i have well let's be more specific let's do a canon camera since that's what i already have going on over on my page and we're going to click go Once it's done loading you are going to see many many choices now i'm gonna tell you something okay this sale rank and these numbers i am not familiar with you gotta find somebody with another video on that one maybe i'll learn it and come back and share it with you guys but for right now i just don't know what those numbers are and um i gotta do some research and, and try to figure it out because i think it, it does matter right <laughs> see this number here is uh 6110 and then when we just saw some up here that was 86 so if it's ranking 86 i guess that's you know a good thing right um 82 102 now uh some people are very knowledgeable on the product that they are choosing to um affiliate market okay i'm not product suave at all <laughs> I just kind of go by what I see and if I like the price hey I'm gonna purchase so okay let's I like this one here the Canon power shot let's click on that well you know what we don't have to click on that let's go back um I got y'all in my business account now <laughs> let's get out of here we don't even have to click on that but we're going to get the link right here to the right once we click on get the link y'all i'm sorry for being all over the place but hey i just noticed that the color of your title can be changed the color of your pricing can be changed i didn't know that until i was playing around and, and looking earlier and I changed it to the fuchsia when you know that's my site brand color so um I might end up changing all of them to that pink I like it but um so anyway what you type in the search engine it's gonna pop up here you're gonna have text and image here's your text only and then here's your image only so you decide either way it go you will have your um html code i like to take the link and the image because i like to see the amazon brand the shop now button so what you do here you want to highlight your code your html code copy and then go back to your website right now in my case um like i said mine got moved around but in fact let's see here i'm just gonna go ahead and put it back i'm gonna do a reorder and um da, 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 where is it okay there we are i'm just gonna put it back so we can go to the bottom all right so that was done with reorder guys and then you click done when you finish moving them around the way that you want them to be okay so now you can see here at the bottom of the page again on the right this little pencil lets you know that this is where your um custom html is going to appear okay so we want to click on that scroll up for you so you can see here and right in the number one where it's highlighted blue you want to paste which you've already copied and that is the code to your camera now let's scroll up and here is our camera already it has appeared in our widget section 